Yeah. We seem to be having some water-related issues. And for once, it's not a lack of water. It's a water surplus. <laughs> what is up, guys? Major Magpie and welcome back to City Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis. And, uh, yeah, last episode we spent down here putting or relocating our water treatment plants. But, yeah, the pumping water onto our footpaths, which are now rivers. <laughs> yeah, we might have to fix this. I'm probably going to have to raise the land all around them now to try and contain the water. Yeah, I'll probably just lift them up a little bit, but I'll do that all out of calm. And hopefully that'll fix them. Uh, I have left the plane for a little while to see if this will, like, kind of, like, balance itself out and start keeping the water out within there, but it, it just isn't. It's... <laughs> It just it it just wants to be up here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways guys, in this episode I thought it would be a good idea to do a golf course. Yes. Hey hey. You wanna do this for a little while now? So I figured we could go ahead and do it in this episode. Or at least make a start on it. I'm not sure how difficult it's gonna be. Let's just get you back on the way and start emptying you. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit on the golf course. We'll see how we get on with that, and then maybe just drop on and put in a few more cemeteries or crematoriums or both in other parts of the city. Uh, but yeah, over here is where I want to put our golf course. I do want to put a little town on the end of here. Um, but this bit here, I want to be a golf course. So let's go ahead and just make a start with a road first. So we're going to go... Just a, just a two lane road with a lane going in each direction on free form. And I want to start it about there. Just bend it round. Just want to have some nice curves. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Just going to stop there for now, right? So that we've, we've got a road to go off. And now, what I would like to do is just do a little bit of terraforming. So, I would like to put in a hill. Just expand our tool. Probably about here. Is all of this. Just to give it a little bit of shape, this. There we go. Let's just take a quick look. Needs a bit of trees and stuff on the top, just to de like make it look a bit denser, but... Let's go to our road menu. And Actually, no, 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 no. We'll do, we'll do golf first, if we find ourselves a nice... I think I'm going to to go on a nice hole. Do something like that, Augusta. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Bang! Is that going to work? Have a quick look at another one. What's that one? That is uh, just a common. Yeah, we'll stay away. We'll stay away from Cameron. It's the wrong coloured grass. Yeah, we'll just go for Gusta then. So let's make this work then. Uh, we'll go and get a path. And I'll just run a path. Free form, so you can get it down the back, yeah. In there. Now there is a path. 
off. I guess we'll join out now. Somewhere around here. <laughs> Just put straight road on so that I find it. Okay guys, I'm afraid I've done a lot of the golf course and you haven't even seen it. <laughs> uh, I lost a lot of the footage of us making the golf course, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, I'll show you around before it gets dark. This is the car park to our golf course, which we've also included some tennis courts in. Got some nice driving ranges here. I'm just going to pause time so it stays light. Uh, we've got a little picnic area down here. And some toilets or restrooms. Uh, and this is thanks to a new little tool that I've got actually, if I just show you. Uh, it's in here. And it basically allows us to use all little add-ons for different mods separately within the game. So that's cool. We're going to add a lot more detail now. It's a great little mod. Uh, we've also got different coloured roads, and uh, that is thanks to some suggestions. Thanks for that. I do like the colour of them, actually. They look much better. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look around then. Just look at our golf course. It looks awesome. What you see in the footage was me making yet another man-made lake. <laughs> That's going to go in here. We'll fill that up in the next episode, but this is going to be slightly different, this one. Um, it is going to run into a river, hopefully, and cause some little little stream stroke waterfall things down here, and then into this lake. Uh, we'll see how that pans out though when we fill up the the actual lake. We'll do that in the next episode, like I say. But yeah, we've got a lot of uh, holes for our golfers down here. There's a bit more detail to go in. I've put in some caddies and. Uh, golf carts down here. But yeah, this is going to be cool. I'm, I'm proud of this little area. I've also put in some little roads here. We've got some tunnels going on in our highway, which is not, all the roads are now connected to. We've got a footbridge, because I've decided I'm going to put a town on this side of the road. 
Um, what else have we got? In here, we're going to have some farming. That'll come in time. I just want to go ahead and put in a barrier. And I was looking at, I'll demonstrate how these tools work. And we're going to add more detail, which is cool. If we just switch off collide, we can put stuff on the roads. There we go. Put that in line with the wall. Boom. And we've got a nice little barrier there. Look at that. Hey! That's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with these tools. It allows us to add the level of detail that I want to. I want to take and put another one of them up here, actually, at the airport. Yeah, we'll just get that back. Yeah, because this is our staff car park. The airport, it's not for our citizens, although citizens will use it, but, you know, we need to create the illusion. And we'll put that there. Boom. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Uh, that little tool is also going to allow us to be able to put airplanes on here, which is also cool. Uh, and yeah, right, that's our golf course. Probably two thirds of the way done. There's a couple of more holes I want to put in. Um, but I think I want to put a road in first. Uh, in fact, we could probably go ahead and do that now. We'll just take a look to the, in the resource panel. See where our farming starts. Yeah, there, right. So. In our road, then. Um, I'm just going to keep it as a two lane road with nothing else on it. Keep it free form. And we are going to run it um, down. Like that. Let's see how that looks against our resources. That's alright, we're going to have all of this as farming. So, just run that a little bit further. Right here. And I want to stop that there for now. But basically that just means that our golf course is going to run up to here pretty much. I'll put a load of trees in and stuff to hide it from the road. I also want to continue this wall that we've got in here all the way around. Let's take a look. Cool, got a nice little gate in there, you go for the gate, and the golf course, yay! <laughs> right, so, that, yeah, that road will signify the end of our golf course then, and uh, the start of farming. And we'll put a town across here, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, to finish off this episode, I want to just relocate a couple of our cemeteries. And I was thinking along the back of here. Uh, so if we just go ahead and put in a, a couple of roads... Uh, so we'll keep the four lane roads, we'll put a grass central reservation, we'll just go straight down to, down to there. Just realised that the bollock I've dropped, just need to make sure that it collides, because otherwise it will not demolish houses and it will not put the zoning markers in, so we can zone some... Uh, residential or commercial on it. We're gonna go to there. Boom. Probably another one actually. Yeah, about there. Bang. Right. Run it that way. All the way along there. Right now, what I'm gonna do, I wanna put three deep burial sites down here. We've got these here. And uh, let's go... Hmm. How are we doing for space? We'd probably get them in there, couldn't we? You only want to get two in there, that's a thing. No, I'm going to fill that up with uh, buildings. So we'll just put the burial sites along here. One there, one right next door. Uh, continue that road a little bit more, and I might put another one on the end. Like so. Alright, so that's three in there. I'll take three from over there. 
I'm going to toggle off these lights and then I'm going to head over and I'm going to remove them from the burial site. Uh, we'll connect up the power before we go as well. So we can play time. I don't know, we don't know what's happening there. Why are you doing that, man? Apparently it just doesn't snap on anymore. These guys want some water as well, so quickly do that. And just a pipe and just run it through there. Boom, you've got water and probably do another one through there for whatever we put in the middle. Uh, okay, right, we'll come back to this. I'll go and delete some burial sites from over here. I want to keep these six here. So you're finished emptying, you need to start emptying. So do you actually yeah I'll do that. I'll let these ones fill up first. Yeah. We'll let these ones fill up, then I'll empty, then we'll delete. That's how we're gonna do it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. This didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. I really wanted to showcase us doing the golf course. However, it did turn out to be a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting the, the golf courses themselves to connect to paths and whatnot pretty easy, but that turned out not to be the case. But it looks cool. I like it. It's very good in the daylight. It looks okay in the night time. Uh, but yeah, next episode we can fill this lake and then I think we'll do a little bit of work over at uh, Lake Windermere. We've got this nice little vacant lot here. And if we're going to start removing our cemeteries from here, we can start building up this area with some nice high-rises. Uh, I've got a few more unique buildings that we could put in and around here. Uh, connect up some more bus lines. Uh, I've still got to redo our hovering train station, which I will get round to, but probably not in time for the next episode. But yeah, uh, until the next one, guys! Thanks a lot for watching.